Hi, this is Christophe Impecciati from Bistake and welcome to this educational video in which we are going to discuss how to create a framework manager package for a TM1 cube. And this is typically when you want to report from your TM1 cube using the Cognos BI software. For this we're going to need a TM1 cube and secondly we're going to need obviously the framework manager software. If you want to use a TM1 cube for reporting you need to prepare it. It's a very simple process and it is fully explained in our number 12 video, educational video called Reporting from a TM1 Cube and you can find it on our YouTube channel at Bistech TV. So once you've done that, prepare the TM1 Cube, you can access the Framework Manager Windows application and that's where you use that cube as an import source to a package you are going to publish. And this package can, after that, be consumed in the IBM Cognos BI suite of tools. Before we can go in Framework Manager and create a package, we need to go in TM1 and write down some information about the environment you are working with. Number one, you need to know which server hosts the cube you want to report from. In our case, the sample outdoors. Secondly, you want to write down the name of the machine or the IP address of the machine that is running the admin server service under which the sample outdoors registers when we start the server. Lastly, when you access this server, you need a user ID and password to access your cubes. You need to write that down as well. And the cube in this exercise we are going to use for our package is the purchases cube that I'm opening now for you. I've now closed Server Explorer and I'm going to the Start button. I'm going to start Framework Manager. All programs, IBM Cognos 10, IBM Cognos Framework Manager. So I start the application in which I am going to create what we call a project. So I select create a new project and I give it a name. I'm going to call it T for TM1, F for Framework Manager number 2. And I'm just going to click OK. It's going to take a little while to verify a few things and verify the security and so on and so forth. But it creates a CPF file which is a, an IBM Cognos Framework Manager project. It's going to open in a minute and then ask me, the first thing it asks me for, it's the language I want to work with, so English sounds good. And then we are going to specify which data source we are reading from, and in our case it's going to be our TM1 cube. To set up my data source, I'm just going to follow the wizard. I'm going to click the next button, then new, then next, provide a name. I'm going to call it the same name as my cube, which was called purchases. Click Next, select from the drop-down list which type of data source it is. It's an IBM Cognos TM1 cube. Next. Here we're going to need the information we wrote down when we were in Server Explorer. The first box at the top, I need to specify the name of my admin server machine. Name or IP address, either way. In my case, it's V class base. After that, I specify the name of my TM1 server hosting the cube I want to use. For me, it's Sample Outdoors. After that, and to access my Sample Outdoors TM1 server, I need a user ID, admin, and a password. So I click the box Password and I specify my password. Make sure you confirm the password. Then you can scroll down and you must click test the connection to make sure you can access this machine and everything is OK. So what you do, you click the test button. If everything is fine, you should get this screen that says that you successfully accessed your TM1 server. So it's all good. Click the close button, close again, scroll down, finish, close we have connected to our TM1 server. We have our TM1 data source. Click the next button. We can see all the cubes on that TM1 data source we just created. We just want to select the cube we're interested in, in our case, purchases, and click 
the next button. In TM1 you can give alternative names to your dimension elements and this screen here is for each dimension you can select which names you'd like to use when reporting from that TM1 queue. In this scenario here we don't have any aliases so I'm just going to click the next button and I'm all done with the process so I click finish. If you recall the second slide of the PowerPoint presentation at the beginning of this short video, the last step is to create and publish a package. And that's what comes out of Framework Manager and can be consumed in the BI tools. So here this screen is showing me, do you want to create the package? And by default, the package name is the same name as the data source purchases. So I'm happy with this, so I click finish we have successfully created the package. Now what we need to do is to publish the package to be able to use it in the BI tool. So I'm going to click yes and this screen is all the parameters that I can set up to publish my package. And in most cases you don't want to use model versioning so I'm going to unclick that box and click the next button. Click next again and publish the package by clicking the button publish. The package has been published, I'm all done, I click the finish button. So this is it, I'm done with Framework Manager, the last thing I need to do is save my project, close the application, this is a Cognos connection and I can see that my package has been published and I have prepared already a little report in Report Studio where I'm using my package, you see purchases package is here with the measures and my different dimensions. I have a little cross tab report that I can run and I'm accessing my package and I can see my numbers from my TM1 cube. Thank you very much for your attention. This was Christoph Impetiati for Bistec and if you have any questions or if you need any assistance please give us a call. You will find all information on our website on this uh, slide here and also you can visit our uh, YouTube channel at Bistec TV to find a lot more of these uh, short educational videos. Thanks.